We welcome you to the premier inter schools here at Paul Girls High between Paul Girls and Paul Gymnasium. It is the biggest inter schools in the world, the biggest schools inter schools, and we are so excited for the under 18 matchup between these two powerhouse schools. This one is going to be a pulsating one. It's going to be sitting on your edge, edge of your seat, chewing yeah. your nails. I mean, you must see what it looks like around this court. Let's take us, let's take you through how Paul Girls. Um, will be starting this encounter right in this same uh, Paul Girls side will be heading up to top schools in the in a couple of days so looking forward to see how they perform there and the side of Paul Khim well the coach uh, Charmaine Bietre she's opting with Rousseau the captain on goal you can see the difference in the game already because the court's not as wet anymore so there's more speed on the on the run and on the ball oh that's brilliant from Andrews she finds Milan right under the post and she Makes a count and over ball for Pachem. That's good vision from the captain. Yeah, Rousseau. Oh, a little bit of flair, a little bit of spice. That was a brilliant feed. Yeah, she makes a count and the crowd. Responsibility. No defense. No, Rousseau is going to have to put some pressure up there. She's caught behind. She needs to be in front. Mm. Otherwise, we can see Swan just jumping up, getting that deflection, and then taking that ball. And Milan having that front again so yeah. perfectly. It's just brilliant on the attacking front of goals high. It's That's what she does best. So that is Andrews for you. For a couple of times this season, why have you not picked that up? But a brilliant way to end the first quarter. It is 13 goals to five in oh. favor of the ladies from Paul Girls. Well, that's how uh, Norma Plummer actually taught us that the wing defense takes that ball <laughs> from the outside. Everybody's like, no, let the goalkeeper take it. But oh, then that's what we're used to. The goal defense and the goal attack and goalkeeper can go into the shooting. Into the circle. Um, she's very dominant. So you need to shut her down. Stop her line. They're all caught mm. behind. They're dodging. But so you're not actually free. Yeah. There's also no effort coming from them to try and come forward. Um, they're dodging to the side and backwards. What about a, a, a drop and a drive front? Maybe they should just revert back to that so that you know everyone's taking care of their own. She's got one last opportunity. And we end the second quarter with a 20-10 goal lead for Paul Girls. A 10-goal margin already in that second quarter, heading into our second half of the game. Um, that was... No, listen, I think they, you know, they're putting themselves under tremendous pressure. When it's worked, when has it worked? It's worked when they've played it patiently down, you know, keeping it short, not looking for the long uh, um, passes and the long runs, you know, and the give and goes. I haven't seen any of that. And for me, more than anything else, defensively, they, they don't have a plan. The attack of, of, um, of Paul Girls is just running, yep. transitioning too quickly, too smoothly. There's no pressure, no delay. You know, um, and no pressure applied by, yeah. by Paul Kim. So they really need to go back to the drawing board in this last quarter if they yes. really are going to Just go give back to back. basics. Absolutely. You know, I mean, there's nothing that can beat a basic play. And One be, player, And be next clear player. as yeah. to what you are doing. You know, just be, be, be good at that. Yeah. You know, if it's man on man, everybody must man, man on man. man. If it's 100%. zone defense, then everybody must do that. But I have to commend the Paul Girls players they make that that's the long pass you can give because there's nobody there she's free as a bird and again on that baseline it's so beautiful to watch this game oh that's brilliant drive from Carstens I love the fact that they open that court up they take that center pass right from Right in that pocket, yep. right out wide, opening yep. the whole court. There's enough space for the players to come through. Yeah, definitely. Again, just the court holding and waiting. Um, it's as if there's no urgency in their movement. Beautiful score by Carly Swart. 
she's honestly always exactly and it's not every single time mm -hmm. she has but there's moments where she just keeps it simple and basic and then she knows when to spice it up yeah so that's really brilliant from yeah, that has absolutely stood out today in a massive team performance and you know and the thing is if you look at it when she wasn't on on, on swat swat to 17 there's 40 seconds left you can hear the crowd they've already started it's going to be a massive celebration and I know this is something you haven't seen yet, so just wait for when this match ends. Oh What's goodness. going to happen on this court? <laughs> it is absolutely mind-blowing. Um, but Paul Chim has the ball, and it's their last chance to make it count for their team. You know, they did work hard, and they've been really, really brilliant moments. I mean, Swart has been amazing in that shooting circle, taking the shots, putting them in from all over the show. It's the last five seconds. Can they sink one before? They don't really have Final to whistle blows. And here we go. It's the celebration that they've been waiting for for a whole seven months of this year. It is 38 goals to 18 in favor of the ladies from Paul Girls on their home ground. They decided to absolutely dominate today. What a brilliant match it has been. You know, beautiful moments from Paul Thum, but Paul girls were just too clinical today. Too good, untouched, unmatched, right across the court, you know, even the substitutions being made, um, you know, the introduction of new players, fresh legs, and the timing of the substitution, I thought, were just on point from coach uh, Fasahi, uh, Madhu Fasahi. Really a dominant performance from her side. You know, they just came up with, they came with one goal in mind, and that was, was, hit, was hit the ground running from the yeah. first whistle and we don't look back and really a brilliant performance and this sets them up perfectly the top school that's going to be coming up in a week or two they'll be heading up to um to boxburg and oh. that's where they'll be playing against the top teams in the country listen if they so perform, wishing them the best yeah if they perform like they did today we can only think how amazing of a performance they're going to have up there so i think it's really important for both these teams to realize how hard it is to work towards this and that it is a brilliant performance that they had out here today. We are very excited excited Vegas. with everything that has happened on this court. Um, 38 goals to 18, a 20 goal margin in favor of um, ball goals.